Hello friends! Today you'll see how 30 world famous music stars from the 90s have changed. I will show you how they looked then and what's with them now in 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Ricky Martin was already a superstar entertainer in Latin and South American nations, beginning with his stint in the hugely popular group Menado. But his singing the Sosa anthem at the 1998 World Cup propelled the singer to international megastar status. Madonna, she originally dreamed of becoming a ballet dancer, but from the 1980s until now, she is called the Queen of Pop Music. Madonna is known for continuously reinventing both her music and image. She remains the highest grossing solo touring artist of all time. Michael Jackson, also known as the King of Pop, or by his initials NJ. Michael is recognized as the most successful entertainer of all time by Guinness World Records. His contribution to music, dance and fashion made him a global figure for over four decades. Cher Lloyd rose to international prominence with the success of her debut studio album Sticks and Stones, single Swaggy Jagger. In addition to her musical skills, the singer is also known for sporting a variety of tattoos on different parts of her body. Andre Young, popularly known as Dr. Dre, is truly a godfather of the American hip-hop industry. A rapper and producer by profession, Dre's life story is filled with numerous milestones that have been instrumental in shaping the music industry's current outlook. In the world of rock and pop music, if there is one name that resonates magic, it has to be that of Sir Elton John. His five decades of career has been historic and record-breaking quite literally. He is one of the best-selling music artists in the world. Henry Samuel, professionally better known as Seal, is known internationally for hits such as Crazy, Kiss from a Rose, Love's Divine, and 1990 single Killer. Apart from singing and songwriting, he has also served as a judge for many music shows. Whitney Houston is the only artist to chart seven consecutive number one Billboard Top 100 hits. In 2009, the Guinness World Records cited her as the most awarded female act of all time. Whitney Houston was also one of the world's best-selling music artists. Eminem is considered as one of the greatest and most influential artists of all time. The Rolling Stone magazine has labeled him the king of hip-hop and listed him in its list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. His albums have all been roaring hits. Janet Jackson, known for a series of sonically innovative, socially conscious and sexually provocative records, as well as elaborate stage shows. Having sold over 100 million records, Janet Jackson is one of the world's best-selling music artists of all time. Tony Braxton has released a total of six studio albums until now and has sold over 66 million records, which has made her an R&B idol. She is sometimes called with the name of Queen of R&B, as she is one of the best-selling female artists of the 1990s. Björk Gutsmundertier is known for writing her own songs. She has been a part of many bands like Speed and Snot, Exodus and Sugar Tubes. She is also a proud winner of an Academy Award for the original soundtrack that she sang for the movie Selma Songs. Britney Spears go down in the history as one of the greatest pop artists from the West. Her debut album Baby One More Time came out in 1999 and it became an instant hit all over the world, making Spears the most popular teenage solo artist in the world. Brandy Norwood began her music career in her early teens and rose to fame with her first single I Wanna Be Down. She is the first cousin of the famous rapper Snoop Dogg, also listed as RIAS top selling artist in the US with over 10.5 million sold albums. 
Brian Warner, also known as Marilyn Manson, started hogging the limelight with his controversial yet super hit album Antichrist Superstar. He often wears garish makeup and stylized contact lens in one eye, which gives him the creepy look that his fans love. Shania Twain, known as the Queen of Country Pop. She best known for her album The Woman in Me. Shania Twain is one of the best-selling singers in Canada, second only to Celine Dion. Her album Come On Over is the best-selling country album of all time. Lenny Kravitz. His songs are impregnated with a bit of all popular genres of music, including jazz, retro, soul, R&B and rock. Once known for his dreadlocks, this popular singing sensation was a teenage icon. Lenny is a proud recipient of numerous awards. Three-time Grammy Award-winning Beck Hansen is no ordinary instrumentalist, for he is responsible for creating the unique style of producing a shambling college-like sound, which he has derived from putting together seemingly contradictory genres of music. Faith Hill is who has made her mark by blending country with pop to develop her signature style. She was influenced by Elvis Presley in her childhood and formed her own band at the age of 17. She has won five Grammy Awards, of which two were for album Breathe. Eric Clapton is well known for songs like Sunshine of Your Love and Before You Accuse Me. In his early life, he has performed with the Roosters. As the winner of 17 Grammy Awards, this renowned personality has suffered for his drug and alcohol addiction. Natalia Herrera is a Uruguayan singer, actress and fashion designer. She began her career in telenovelas. Herrera has worked on social awareness shows and events for organizations. She has been included in Esquire magazine's The Sexiest Woman Alive Atlas list. Coming from a broken home, Coolio fought poverty and drug addiction to become one of the most successful rappers of the 1990s. He has acted in films and television series, either playing himself or doing minor roles, and has appeared on numerous cookery shows. Celine Dion, counted among the highest earning singers in history, she is best known for singing My Heart Will Go On, the main theme song of the 1997 film Titanic. The song peaked at number one in many countries and made her one of the most sought after singers. Orwell Burrell, better known by his stage name Shaggy, is a Grammy Award winning. He is also a former United States Marine who had served in the Persian Gulf War. His first hit song was the single O Carolina, a remake of the 1958 song by the Falls Brothers. Mary J. Blige started her career as a background singer and a few years later, in 1992, to launch her music career with her album What's the 411. Known as the Queen of Hip Hop Soul, Mary has redefined the genre and has inspired a new wave of artists. Usher Raymond Ford, or simply Usher, one of the best-selling music artists of the contemporary era, has sold a total of 23.8 million albums and 38.2 million digital songs in the United States alone. His worldwide sales to date stand at over 75 million records. Christina Aguilera. She had a golden voice since she was a young girl and was locally known as the girl with the big voice. Her first matching studio album, Christina Aguilera, came out in 1999 and gave the world the single hit called Genie in a Bottle. Jennifer Lopez. In 1997, she starred in Selena. This became her breakthrough. In 1999, Jennifer Lopez topped the Billboard Hot 100 with her debut album on the 6th. After the success of her following album, J. Law, she became one of the hottest pop stars in the world. Mariah Carey, singer which has displayed each of the characteristics that commonly describe a diva. She was named the world's top-selling female artist of the millennium. I found this photo in the web, and I warn you, this isn't true. It can be Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey looks great now. 
Sean Carter, better known by his stage name Jay-Z, is one of the biggest names in rap and in the genre of hip-hop. His albums have approximately sold over 50 million copies. Recently, Jay-Z was ranked as one of the most successful artists of the millennium. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it and of course subscribe to the channel.